it's the home stretch to a two-week summit, which focuses on what must be done to stop the world's temperature from rising further. Many fear the rule book that will guide the operations of the Paris Agreement may be watered down at the end of the process. If it's watered down and we're losing some of the crucial text or becomes a bit of a free-for-all, we're not going to have the robustness we need to actually deliver the Paris Agreement uh, uh, and the ambition and the actions we need, as well as the trust uh, amongst countries. Apart from the rule book, the issues the ministers must tackle are the same ones that have bedeviled climate talks for years. Poor countries want rich countries to compensate for floods, drought and other impacts of climate change. Rich countries on their part are reluctant to take up too much financial burden. We had the ministers must now decide on how to reach a common goal with different parties facing different realities. So it is a sharp divide also in terms of understanding the root of the problem, the cause of the problem and the action that needs to be taken. And it's really difficult to understand why polluting nations shouldn't just own up to the fact that they owe the poor non-polluting nations a climate debt. We're all in it together. This is something that we have to do as a collective effort. So we need to reach consensus. We need to resolve these issues and not argue over trivialities or make uh, tactical moves to try to protect your position. We've only got one planet and it's down to all of these nations to come together and work out how we can actually keep it safe. In the night here. Having been accused of being too slow on key issues, the conference president tells ministers it's time to move forward. He says he's determined to provide a text that is acceptable to all. We do not have the comfort of time, but we have the will and we have the power to achieve the compromise here in Katowice. The COP presidency wants delegates to hold on to hope. Hope that this summit will reach a compromise Just beneficial to all. Ayola Kasim reporting for Channel's Television News. And to sports, here's Charles Eruka. Welcome to Sports News. Women's 100 meters national champion Blessing Okagbari is impressed with new records that have been set by athletes at the ongoing National Sports Festival in Abuja. She says the festival is coming at the right time as it will also prepare some of the athletes for a busy calendar in 2019.